Today is the day. We're gonna eat all day in Chinatown. Let's go. First stop, Tony's Fresh Rice Noodles. Let's go. Tony's was opened in October 2019 by Liz and Brian. The restaurant is named after the owner's eldest daughter, Tony. Liz opened the shop not only to satisfy her daughter's rice roll cravings, but also to honor her brother's legacy. Today, Tony's is known for their Hong Kong style comfort foods, especially their steamed rice rolls, which are made on site. Got some milk tea and some coffee to get us started. We got our food, let's go. All right. Oh man, oh man. We came with our friend John here before when it was so warm, and today is like a super cold day here today. I'm dying to try this congee. <laughs> it's nice and warm and looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice and hot. Oh man. Oh, so good. Try it. All right, I'm gonna slurp it through. Mmm, <laughs> this is legit comfort food. Yeah. We grew up eating this in the morning. Yeah, I actually didn't like it as a kid, but now I came back to it. Mmm, this is so good. This is super good even if you're sick, um, not feeling well, it's just something to warm up your soul and your oh, body, you know? It's like chicken soup. Yeah, pretty much. Mmm, <laughs> mm, good stuff. I'm gonna slurp it all up. All right, the main breakfast course here we have is the chon fun, rice noodle rolls, and it's also what they're known for. It's in the name. Tony's Fresh Rice Noodles. Yeah. The way that they make these churn fun is that they pour a mixture of rice flour and water onto these pans, and they make a thin layer of this mixture, which becomes this delicate skin. And inside the skin, you put scallions, you put any toppings you want. So here we have three different steamed rice rolls with three, well, a lot of different toppings. Let's start with the shrimp. I love the shrimp. Ooh. Shall we drench it in soy sauce? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the most important sauce is the soy sauce. Yeah. The best one. And we say this dish originates from Guangzhou, Guangdong, China. Mm -hmm. They sell it in street carts, they yeah. sell it in dim, dim, sum. dim sum. Yes. And now you find it pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Cheers. Good bite. Cheers. Mm, delicious. This is breakfast. How's it even legal? I want this for breakfast every day. Yeah. When I grew up, I actually eat these for lunch mostly. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. But dim sum, dim sum is a different story. Mm. Mm. It's super silky. I want one of those things with those machines <laughs> at home so we can make this ourselves. You have to remember to chew because if you don't chew, it'll just go down your throat. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Next one. This one has egg and scallion and pork, right? Oh. Rose pork. Rose pork chompon. Don't forget the soy sauce. Very important. We drenched it already and it's time to dig in. Dig in. Well, actually, it's time to cut it. <laughs> Super easy to cut because the skin is so delicate. Yeah, you're cutting with a fork. No yeah. problem. <laughs> a plastic fork. Oh, this one has the egg. I forgot about the egg. Yes. The egg is the best. You have to have it with the egg. Mm. So good. Wow. Give me some of that pork. Mm. Mm. This one is sweet. Mm hmm. Because it's a roast pork. And the sweetness is actually carried throughout the whole dish. So when you get this, definitely have to include eggs and shrimp. That's the staple. At least in the Guangzhou, Guangdong way. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah. Trying to save my stomach, but yum. All right. Got another awesome steamed rice roll dish. There's scallions in here, dry shrimp in here, and minced pork. Let's pour the sauce over it. Oh, yeah, when it comes to soy sauce, Beautiful. with rice roll. <laughs> <laughs> pour the whole thing in. <sighs> Look at this, all this emptiness. To be fair, they come out very plain, and you're supposed to add soy sauce to it. Let's try this one. Cheers. Cheers. This rice roll combination is more on the savory end, as opposed to the sweet one we just had. If you like savory, this is it. This dry shrimp is not for everybody. Mm. I didn't like it as a kid, but now I kind of grew fond of it too. Wow, so good. Have another piece? Of course. Mm. True flavor explosion with this one. I want to try these eggs. The way the tea eggs are made, the egg is cracked slightly and boiled in a mixture of soy sauce and spices. For a long time, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, simmer it, and this is a Chinese savory snack. Super easy to peel. Wow, so the shell just comes right off. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's a brown egg. Take a bite. You take a bite. All right. Mad good. The flavor is actually infused really well into the skin. We've been to some places that flavor isn't really infused that well. Yeah, I feel like they just dip in tea for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and it just tastes like regular egg, yeah. but this place does it well. Yeah. Here. Okay. <laughs> Here, you wanna? <laughs> I'm gonna eat that one. <laughs> 
Mm. It's got some bitterness to it, like tea. Definitely. Wow, that's a good snack. Good snack. Toast time? Yeah. We recommend this toast, which I'm very curious about. There's condensed milk and peanut butter oh. inside. Yeah. That's and it's cut too. Good. It's cut already. Yeah. Oh, look at this. All right, I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Give me some. Peanut butter jelly sandwich, better step to the side. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I like toast that much. Condensed milk was good. Peanut butter sandwich, eh, maybe. But wow, this one, it really brings out the peanut, right? Mm hmm It's surprisingly good. <laughs> you like these very toasted, like mm. that crunch. But you know, I'll skip the white bread usually. Mm. But this one, mm. wow. Had to wash down with some tea and coffee. Man, you really need this if you want to stay out <laughs> on a day like this. Today is cold. If you can't tell, it's like feeling like in the teens. Yeah, my toes are freezing. Which is some hot coffee for my toes. <gasps> Wait, you should wear the thick socks. I should. Oh, I'm gonna have more congees before we go. And the thing is, like, whenever you eat congee in the morning, you might think, oh, rice, it's kind of very filling. But whenever I eat congee, I get hungry, like, very fast. Do you feel the same? Yeah, and you end up peeing a lot after. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for some ASMR? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. And that's Tony's fresh rice noodles for you. Two thumbs up. Next up, Melai Wa Bakery. Check out that line. They're always here from dusk to dawn every single day. Let's go in. These are freaking glorious, I gotta say. These chasu bows are what the lines are here for. They're all here for these buns. Non-stop all day. It's actually just getting longer and longer. Yeah. And they're all watching us right now. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually surprisingly heavy. Yeah, hefty they're bumps, hefty. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Small but mighty. Ready? Uh-huh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. You gotta see the insides. Mmm. Dude, this is so freaking good. The lines are worth it, even if they're like 30 minutes long. I can't tell what's better, the buns or the pork. That's how you know it's good. The dough to filling ratio is perfect. The buns are slightly sweet, the inside is so savory. These are some good fatty pork, just the way I like it. Oh man. <laughs> so these pork buns also come with steam option if you like the white fluffy buns, but these are the more baked option. Mm. So freaking good. So much fat in here. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna try this next one first. But I wanna finish it. So good. Oh, come on, Ming, put it down. Put these sweet and savory buns down. <laughs> <laughs> no, can't let you go. That was a good try out this one too. So this is a cocktail bun. Coconut. Coconut, 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 coconut. flakes on top. In Chinese, it's called siwei bao. It's like a direct translation. Chicken Ooh. tail bun. Chicken? There's not even I chicken mean, in here. Translate. Oh. And there's actually no alcohol in here. Oh. Believe it or not, there's no spirit, no liquor, guy made bao, and it's more salty than anything, but let me try it first. I'm learning a lot here too. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I stand corrected, it's not salty. What's the filling? The good stuff. The good stuff? It's the good stuff. Mmm. <laughs> Good stuff. What do we have inside? Yellow coconut custard. That threw me off a little because it's yellow, but it does taste like coconut. Mm. That's why I was messing with my brain a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the texture is like the coconut flake. Mm. Mm, well, this one's more like a dessert, too, but I'll swallow this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Give us all the carbs. This is like the bun shop. All right, put this down. Put this sweet, sweet bun down because we gotta get to the pineapple buns now. <laughs> Here you go. Now these uh, are actually hefty. Yeah, they're all very heavy. Like this should be double the size. So this is a pineapple pork bun. It's a mashup of two of people's favorites. Oh. Pineapple buns and pork buns. What a perfect combination. Yeah. Pop quiz, do you think there's pineapple in here? No, I knew that because of our other video that we just did. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> It's called pineapple bun because the top is like glazed over and it kind of looks like a pineapple rind. But mm. it's made from sugar. Yeah, so crack appearance, texture like a pineapple. Let's try it out. Mmm! I like that flakiness. The texture is just so fun. Mmm! It just gets better and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can tell which one's my favorite. This has so much filling in here. Yeah. You saw the way they made it, they actually stuff a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And they make it super quick, but wow. They have perfected the formula. Oh, I'm gonna finish this one. You can't stop me. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> one do it, one more bite, one more bite. 
Oh, Alright, that's it. Oh. Put it down, put it down. It's so mean. <laughs> you want to try this? Yeah, I do want to try the drink. Let's oh. cleanse our palate. <laughs> yeah. I also had one of these drinks before. Childhood chrysanthemum tea. Jihua cha, yeah, chrysanthemum. It's a flower, flower tea. Mm. My stomach's gonna go crazy. We have hot, cold, and everything in between. <laughs> Cheers. <gasps> oh, it looks like Thai iced tea, but it's different. There's more tea taste to this. And this is very tropical. Oh my gosh, this is so Dude, good. It feels like I'm in Six Flags. <laughs> Six Disney Flags. World, Disney World. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This one hits the spot like more. No, 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 I like mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like both. The aftertaste is really good. Dude, what do they put in these things? I enjoy the aftertaste a lot in this. It's like summertime. It's like you're in Hawaii, even though I've never yes. been to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day, maybe this year. We'll see. All right, let's move on. You know what's coming up? The dim sum. Oh, dim sum dishes. We got the hagao, we got chen fun, and we got the soy sauce. Do not forget the soy sauce. Every time they give you these little sauces, use them all. <laughs> Drench it. Is it a good health device? <laughs> But no, it. but this is the proper way to enjoy your food. Just mm. drenching it. Wow. Yes! This is why I love weekends, man. I get to pig out like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's for the folks that don't know how to use chopsticks. They poke into it. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> I'm not that chopstick expert, but yeah. I know how to use chopsticks, but I, I enjoy it this way. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Mm. Can't get enough of shrimp. This one has some. ginger shreds in there. It's very, it's very refreshing. It's so smooth. Yeah, this one also, like the chunk bun. If you're not careful, you might accidentally swallow the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know CPR, right? No, yes, I do. Do you? Something about this, this, somewhere. No, that's why I'm like a maneuver. <laughs> remember to chew, right? More soy sauce? More soy sauce. What is this one for? Forget. That's where the hot churn. We had a version of this this morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So now I'm ready to eat it for lunch and dinner and tomorrow and the day after. Yeah. <laughs> These are perfect for any meal, yeah. any time of day. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Your skin is thicker. It is, the skin is thicker. Yeah, it's such a simple, humble dish, but it hits the spot every time. Ready for some kanji? Kanje. Ready. Is that cilantro? Yeah. You take the first sip. All right, maybe it's not a big fan of cilantro, but I am. <laughs> I didn't really like cilantro. Like a lot of dishes, you know, you weren't a big fan of it as a kid. You start growing fond of it after a while. Mm hmm. Mm, it's not plain. It's a little savory. It's it's not strong at all. It's very, it feels very fresh. You can have a spoon first, and I'm gonna do something with it. Okay. Yo, I found something. Oh, fish! Fish slices! Oh, oh yes! Fish in here. We ordered the. forgot what we ordered, <laughs> but we got the kanji with the fish slices. So that's what you're tasting. Ah. Alright, so got some rice. And I want some fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Love the fish. That fish is good. It's really good. And just like everything else, when it comes to dim sum, Asian, Chinese food, it's not a sin to drench in soy sauce if you like it saltier. Honestly, I wouldn't overdo it with the soy sauce because it's actually a lot of good flavors in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to overpower with soy sauce, but I'm just going to try a little bit. That's it? <laughs> That's all I'm putting. <laughs> Because I don't want to contaminate the rest mm, of it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm, this is the best idea you had all day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fish in here. The right way of walking around Chinatown coldly like this is to walk around with a container of kanji. Mm. <laughs> Take a sip on it all day. But I know like they're known for the buns, but the, all these other stuff is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Don't get too full off the rice because we still got a noodle dish. Oh. Yes. What's up? Hi! What's your, what's your channel or your page? Uh, I'm Charlene City on TikTok. <laughs> awesome. This looks delicious. Yeah, we're doing like yeah. a YouTube eating video. everything. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. Noodles, and guess what? They have shrimp. Shrimp, green sprouts, mushrooms, peas, peppers, Eggs. all the vegetables. On a normal day, this would be like a to-go takeout lunch, you know? And I'll just kill it by myself. <laughs> but you have to share with me. <laughs> and there's a little pork in there, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> mm, I smell the curry sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, cheers. Cheers. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Love the flavors. Curry flavor, delicious. All the vegetables, all the meat, delicious. Cooked right. Ben's just eating here. I'm just popping all the ingredients in my mouth. Flavor explosion. Honestly, when I first looked at it, it's my least excited one because it's just like carbs and mm. it's gonna be dry. But this is pretty good. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. 
even without all the other fancy ingredients, the noodle itself is really good. It's not dry at all. We love everything. Bro, life is good. We are not joking here. Everything was amazing. Uh... Two thumbs up. <laughs> You know what's funny? What? I was actually telling you we should come here yesterday. Yes, you did! <laughs> and now we're here. Alright, that's Mei Lai Wa for you. Super awesome staff. Shout out to Ben. Shout out to everybody here. Come early, take a box to go. Two thumbs up. Ben, come, come. Have you been to a boba shop? Yeah, of course. Have you been to a sneaker store? Yeah, for lockers. But have you been to a boba shop that sells sneakers? What? Have you been to a sneaker store that sells boba? What? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Soli Tea is New York City's first sneaker and boba tea shop located right here in Chinatown. We started this just out of love for sneakers and boba. For us growing up, boba was a treat. You don't get it all the time unless you were behaving and you could only get it in the Asian bakeries. And then sneakers is like as you grow up, you're able to earn your own money so you can buy your own shoes and whatnot. And then what we really try to do is spotlight a lot of the local creatives and grassroots organizations. We do a lot of fundraisers live. Just because you have the space, why not invite people in, use it, let them share their work with the world, why not? Got the drinks. I got the Star Girl. You got the Pacific Lemonade. Yeah. Shout out to Amy and Annie. Super cool people. Freezing cold, but let's try these out. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mm. refreshing. Love the flavors. Wow, it's actually really good. It's like so cold, but I can't stop drinking it. I can't describe it. <laughs> Butterfly pea flower drink. Butterfly flower tea drink. Something wow. like that. Good stuff. This one is so... Uh, <laughs> we're just so lost for words. Magical drinks. It's like a soda. Right? It's, a so it's like a soda without all the seltzer, without mm -hmm. all the bubbles. Love it. But it Love still tastes bubbles. like soda, right? Yeah. It's so strange. This one is like a fruit drink. What is this? It's um, passion fruit, uh, passion mango fruit. jellies, and a tea. Definitely taste that. And there's like little, look at these mango jellies. It's like star shaped. Did you notice that? Yes. Very cool. Yes. Good stuff. What do you think? Bubble tea from the sneaker store. Love it. Perfect store for streetwear, art, bubble tea, sneakers, <laughs> you name it. Two thumbs up. Guys. Hey everyone! We just had a whole day of eating here in Chinatown. And Ben's hair is getting long again. Yeah, and I haven't done this since I was a child, like legit a child, getting a haircut here in Chinatown. Not just any barbershop, but one of those super cheap basement barbershops. Underground. Back then, they used to be $5. And guess how much they are now? A whole whopping six bucks? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's worth it. And I don't remember if the cuts were particularly great, but I'm curious to try them again 2022. Hopefully, they're better than my cuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your cuts aren't that bad. Right, let's go. Nice and quick. That was a good use of the time. 20 minutes in and out, yeah. six bucks. Very good. Yeah. A little extra for the wash and blow dry. Mm -hmm. Some tip, but it's worth it. Very worth it. Yeah, and it's good use of our time. Yes. Are you digested? I am done. Let's go get dinner. <laughs> All right. So King's Kitchen opened in 2013. There's three locations in New York City. Chinatown has one location and Brooklyn has two. You can find great authentic and familiar Cantonese dishes. All right. Uh, chopsticks. This is a great takeout meal. Mm -hmm. So we got a big spread of Cantonese style comfort food. We got chen bun, two soups, clay pot rice, beef chow fun, and barbecue meats over rice. You know what's cool is that for all the takeouts, I actually give you a whole clay pot. Look at that. Yeah. I was like, whoa, that's a souvenir I want to keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this place is super known for the barbecue duck. 
And also we had some roast pork. They cut it right in front of the customers. You pick the best piece and they just chop it up, serve it nicely over rice. Very popular dish with yeah. all the Chinese people there. Also, there's a line there too. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm excited to try this piece. Me too. All right, roast pork. Cheers. Mm. Everything is made fresh daily. Quality ingredients. The lines were non-stop and according to the owner, they said, there's a lot of travelers that get up on that part of Chinatown, so they love the roast pork, roast duck. Yeah, and they hang it by the window, entice you to go in, you buy it up, and then they just chop it up and serve it nicely. Quick, easy, and delicious for the road. Dip it in the soy sauce. If you haven't noticed, we love soy sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. This soup, they said they only serve it up to about 5 p.m., so we just made it. Mmm. Really flavorful. Very clean soup. Yeah, I was about to say, like sometimes when we get the soups, you feel kind of bad eating it. Yeah. You just feel all the flavor and it's really good, but you can tell it's not really good for you, but this yeah. clean. It's not like miso soup. There's probably no MSG in there, but I can mm. guarantee it. But yeah, it tastes really good. But did you try this roast duck though? No, I did not. This looks amazing. Roast duck has bones in there. And also, they have a secret. They call it a spirit. You know how when they chop the duck open, oh. the those, and they let the sauce. Oh my god, inside. there was a lot of sauce. Yeah, so that's how they simmer the meat from within. It's almost like a Thanksgiving turkey, but there's definitely a secret recipe to this. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Really good meats. That was so fatty and nice. <laughs> <laughs> You can't go wrong once you find out what a place is known for and just get those items. I think a lot of the customers that came were all lining up for these meats. Yeah. Now the clay pot though. I fun. Nice, right? Boom. Check this out. This looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's like art. It's like sausage. Mm -hmm. There's almost like what super kind? roasted pork. Yeah. Pieces. It's like black on the outside. Yeah. Looks great. Clay pot stuff. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like sausage. It does, right? Mm hmm These are super flavorful. You definitely need to make some rice in there. Mm hmm They serve it with rice on the Yes. Bottom. Clay pot rice. It's not yeah. any old rice. It's clay pot rice, which means it's a little crunchy, get a nice chew, and carbs. And this sausage is like the Chinese hot dog. They're super flavorful. You can't have too much of it. <laughs> you just have like literally two pieces with your rice. Mm -hmm. And that should do it. Beef chow fun time. Yeah. This is pretty cool because we saw how they made it <laughs> from start to finish. Oh yeah, right? with that big fire and everything. Yeah. Looking at this, it seems like simple ingredients, but there's a, a lot of steps that goes through making this dish. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Look, mine and his. Honestly, like watching the kitchen behind the scenes makes me appreciate this a lot more. Yes, how they made it. for sure. A lot of skills that go into this. Right. Mm-hmm. Really flavorful. I enjoy this flavor a lot. This is crack. <laughs> this is crack. This is like the Chinese version of halal chicken over rice. To me at least. And what's amazing is how fast they made these ingredients. Right? Like, alright, let's get that dish. And bam, 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 they got all the ingredients ready. They're so experienced with everything. Yeah. Beef chow fun is a staple dish in like a lot of the Chinese restaurants. Actually, like, all the ta takeout much. restaurants, right? Yeah, you yeah. can find it in all the takeouts. You can find it in the fancy restaurants. Mm -hmm. You can find it in like fancy wedding venues. Yeah, pretty much everywhere. I personally prefer this over rice. I'm a noodle person over rice too. Mm -hmm. Ready for the ha chun? So this is our third ha chun of the day. <laughs> we literally eat ha chun, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I wonder how it tastes when it comes to dinner. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how delicate this skin is. And we got shrimp ha chun again. for all three. Wow. Soy sauce time, you already know. That's good. The way they made this one is very interesting, right? The technique? Oh yes, it's yes. It's different from the other ones. I've never mm. seen it done this way. They really were so precise and accurate and so careful in making this, <laughs> like folding all the layers. They started with a cloth. The rice flour and water that was actually all soaked up inside a towel, a white towel, and they just laid it flat, um, heated it up, steamed it up with the cloth inside. I was what? like, oh, maybe they're just cleaning it. And by the time they took it out, they scraped the stuff off. Uh-huh. And they roll it up and it's this right here. They cut off a lot of the extra rice flour mixture. To have this, right? The best part? Yeah, just the best part. Wow. So it's not too thick. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. They really put care in making every single turn fun. I'm going for it because this is going to break. Oh, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. That shrimp is really bouncy. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. 
This should be good. Never get tired of chicken fun. The fact that we ate my breakfast lunch and dinner, we're not <laughs> lying. Bro, we ate all day. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was so amazing. King's Kitchen, two thumbs up. I can't stop eating, to be honest. Well, good, because we're gonna go back to Chinatown too. Hey. All right, we're back in Chinatown, and we're gonna check out Kumping Bakery. They're known for the sponge cake. We came here before with our friend John, but we're gonna check it out again. Let's go. So it's 10 a.m. and there's a line, no surprise here. There's a line every day here, apparently. Wait, Ming, that looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> All right, Kam Hing. Kam Hing. Kam Hing has been a staple in Chinatown for over 35 years. They have these paper wrap sponge cakes, aka cotton candy jiggle. There's a lot of names of these things. Mm -hmm. You can find them in virtually any Chinese bakery. Fluffy cloud cake? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> All you need to know is that they're delicious, they're soft, they're fluffy, and they're very cheap. Yeah. We got three of these for $2. Yeah, these are good breakfast items and they're fun to eat and you can snack on them all day. And there was a whole line of people and they literally all got a dozen each. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if it's the one person or the whole family. <laughs> That's what your mom does. She comes and just That's gets true. a dozen she gets for the whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Like you see that white box at home, you're like, oh, this oh, is it. Oh, yum. We're gonna have good <laughs> breakfast. Oh, oh, is oh. that steam, yes. bro? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. The outside has a little thin layer of crunch. Yeah. Very thin. And inside is just so moist, so fluffy, so soft. It's nice to have that little contrast mm -hmm. so you know how fluffy it is inside. Absolutely really good. To make these sponge cakes, you only need a few ingredients. You only need egg, flour, cream, and baking powder. The less ingredients you need to make something, the more precise it has to be. And it's just cake in there and you might think it's dry but it's actually not dry. Mm -hmm. So how fast you swallowed it. So these yeah. Chinese style sponge cakes are less sweet than the Western style pastries that's why people just get, are able to just eat multiple of these and is it true that Tony and Kaohing Kao are sister stores? Mm -hmm. They actually are. all my same family, right? Mm -hmm. Well, different generations. Mm, okay. So it's cool. We got to try breakfast there yesterday and then breakfast here today. Yeah. So these are all baked in the oven. And to make these sponge cakes, you separate the egg whites, you separate the egg yolk, mix them separately, and voila. Voila. <laughs> voila. <Actually>. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think it's fair to say two thumbs up for Kam Hing. We literally ate so much delicious food here in Chinatown for the past 24 hours. Yeah, if you haven't yet, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us afford more sponge cakes. <laughs> Until next time, peace! Chinatown to me is definitely a symbol of resilience and resistance as well. Our ancestors and elders, even the current generation, we built a space where we can have access to our cultural dishes and all that in this place that we can actually feel good and be prideful and whatnot. But now it's also, it's our turn, the baton's in our hand. To do it for our elders, do it for our ancestors, but also do it for the future generations so they have this neighborhood to call home to.